Hey, everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 20 on... There's a look at one of the most iconic sports venues in the lower 48, built back in 1957 under the title of City Stadium. We are at Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Green Bay Packers. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Andy Dalton set to lead out this Bengals offense at the controls for the ninth year. The man out of TCU. Flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Still first down. with a give here to Mixon. And he'll be upended after a gain of five up to the 25-yard line. And a look now at the Cincinnati offense. While the Bengals struggled in 2018, running back Joe Mixon certainly did not. Over 1,100 yards running the ball, caught 43 passes. Expect both of those numbers to continue to climb in his years in the NFL. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And let's get a look at the Green Bay defense. Safety Adrian Amos was a free agent in 2018, and division rival Green Bay took note and brought him to Wisconsin to patrol the center of their defense and also drop down near the line of scrimmage and make some big-time plays in the running game. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A Bengal first. Down on the 16-yard pickup there. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. He was looking for John Ross that time. And now it's second down. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave him with a third down and six to go. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Double in this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guys. He is well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. That opening drive looked good for a moment there, but they'll wind up being turned away thanks to the missed field goal. And those especially hurt when you come into a game on the road. You're trying to get things to go your way early, and now you suffer a setback right out of the gate. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 46. 
They'll go with their leading rusher from a season ago. This is Aaron Jones. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. It was Nick Vigil there on the stop. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. No score after one on EA Sports. Back for the second quarter in Green Bay. It's the Packers in possession of the football as they've got it with a second. Hello, everybody. I'm Jonathan Coachman. And All right. Thanks, Coach. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. The first Super Bowl of a new decade. Super Bowl 54 is underway. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. They'll be led out by the first pick of the second Wait, round back in 2001, and that's the veteran Drew Brees. Drew Brees' accomplishments have been borderline astounding. When you look back at what people thought about him coming out of college, so-called height issue, you name it, he can do it. And boy, does he prepare well for each and every game. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Jared Cook is a guy who's been around the NFL. He's been with the Titans, the Rams, the Packers. In the last two years in Oakland, now he makes a move to the Big Easy, where he pairs with Drew Brees and forms a nice little throw. Now Brees finding Kamara, and they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Let's get a quick look at the Saints offense. The steal in the 2017 NFL Draft had to be running back Alvin Kamara out of Tennessee, who ended up being that year's NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year. Split time with Mark Ingram his first two years in the league. With Mark Ingram now in Baltimore, it's his show. And through his first two years, almost equal yardage, rushing and receiving. Expect his rushing numbers to take a big leap in 2019. And a look at the defense for the Cowboys. And there's linebacker Leighton Vander Esch, who was so impressive as a rookie in 2018. Many Ready, thought Dallas should have eight, opted to pick a wide receiver of that spot. Turns out they made the absolute correct choice. A 2018 Pro Bowler who's only going to get better. On infraction, defense. So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. So forget the three and out. The penalty makes this first and ten. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. Now Breeze lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back because... 
This is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Got to assume this defense will be charging again here. It's second and 15. This is Alvin Kamara, who made the Pro Bowl in each of his first two NFL seasons. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. And that'll get them some of what they needed, but they're still left here with a third and nine forthcoming. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Chidabe Aluzie with a pick, and he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield strike. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and ten. They run with Ezekiel Elliott, last year's NFL rushing leader. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. A.J. Klein on the tackle there. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. And he's got this down to the 35. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense, because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Now a play fake here on first down. Wide open, Amari Cooper. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop here we go. it. Here we go. Here we go. We're scoreless after one. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a first and ten. A first down carry by Allen. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl, and the Cowboys are in for six. But without a doubt, all credit's got to go to the runner. Found his way into the end zone, but the defensive guys just not wrapping up well when they try to tackle him. And, and that's the thing. You've got to wrap up. A lot of times these days you see guys, they just want to go as hard as they can and throw their body at somebody. That's not old school football, though. No, old school football is fundamentals. Wrapping up, locking your hands, and trying to get him on the ground. Brett Maher on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-0 Cowboys. Just a four-play drive that time. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott.
everybody, it's the coach. This is Madden 20 on EA Sports. Ahead, we'll see Russell Wilson and this... Coach, we've had a lake effect snow band sitting over Soldier Field since about 9 this morning, and it's not supposed to budge anytime soon. The good news, the folks don't seem to mind here in Chicago. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the Seattle Seahawks and the Chicago Bears. This is taken at the three. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. The Bears offense heading out, led by Mitchell Trubisky, a pro bowler last year in 2018. And, of course, the number two overall pick in the draft back in 2017. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Trubisky connecting with Burton here over the middle. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. A really nice gain of 25 yards. That was an excellent read right there. Saw cover one. That means it's just a single high safety. So you know if you throw the ball to the outside part of the field, help is going to be a little bit late getting there. And he puts one out there for a big-time completion. They'll throw on first down with Trubisky. Over the middle, the tight end Shaheen with it. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Brandon, they didn't get everything they wanted out of that play. But the tight end did. <laughs> and I don't mean it in a positive way. And he's got his man. That's Robinson. Touchdown, Bears. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Bears have taken the early lead. And the QB rating right now is sky high. Four for four on that opening drive, and it ends with a touchdown pass. Yeah, I don't know quite how to figure it out. I think I need my friends from MIT to come in and help me. <laughs> but I think 158.3 is the number one. Yep, that's the right? high. Right, that's mark. the highest you can get. That's where he is. He'd like to continue on that pace. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for. And this touchdown will count. You always worry about the plant foot in the snow, but no problems there. And it's now a 7-0 game. Five plays there on that drive. And it culminates in a touchdown for Chicago. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And able to take it past the 20 a little bit, but no further. A flag in there as well. Let's see what this is. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. So after the face mask, they get to start all the way up past the 35 now. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy this caliber that runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. 11 yards there, first down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Three yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field 
despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. He'll buy some time right. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. The inside linebacker, Danny Trevathan, gets the sack. I know I'm supposed to do the analysis here, but I've got to ask, how did he stay alive that long in the pocket? Yeah, great footwork, which we know he has. If he would have been able to stay alive, get rid of the ball, or run for some yard. And look at this, it's a fake! And they can't corral him. Oh, he breaks another. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool this defense. And the Bears will get the football back. It's such a risky play there to fake it. You're either the hero or the GOAT. Here they're going to be the GOAT. Unfortunate, too, because you know they thought they had something there. They don't call it just a call. They don't just say, oh, what the heck, let's go ahead and fake it here. They feel like they've got something on. they got the defense in the right spot. All right, much appreciated, Coach, as we welcome all of you to our exclusive coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. This fielded at the two. Fighting throw. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Keenum on first down, rolling to his left. Oh, he's gonna, he's got a man, complete! And they finally get it, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. Well, how about a deep ball on the first play from scrimmage, putting that secondary on notice? Brandon, all I remember when I was a player is that we always took a test the night before the game about teams' tendencies and what they, what they plan to do. I'm not sure we think deep ball right out of the gate and putting us back on our heels. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. Two yards that time, a stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. The last run good for two, here's second and eight. Here's Keenan. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. And the 11 defensive starters for Arizona. Safety DJ Swearinger brings not just athletic ability to the field, he also brings a strong belief that he can get to the football on every snap. An absolutely fierce hitter. You can feel his intensity even when you're sitting down and having a meeting with him prior to the game. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. 
he was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. Hopkins' kick is good. And it's 3-0 as the Redskins strike first. Three points, probably not going to win this Super Bowl, but at least you get something on the opening drive. And it's certainly not going to lose it. So the bottom line is, come away with the points now. Come back and get greedy later and try to put it in the end zone. So following the made field goal for three, Hopkins now to kick it off. This will be fielded at the eight. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. So out come the Cardinals now for their opening drive. And we get a glance here at their leader, the man who will be calling the plays under center. And I like what his head coach told us about him this week, that no matter what happens, whether he throws seven interceptions or seven touchdown passes, He's the same assertive leader in the huddle on each and every play. He can throw the seven interceptions, just blame the football, blame anything else, and still carry himself like he is the man. It's like you, assertive in our production meetings. Well, especially when we're talking, we talk about ordering dinner, ordering snacks. I was snacks. just going to say. That's, that's where I go. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. So they got him coming up from his linebacker spot. And sometimes the position designation really doesn't matter. If you creep up to the line of scrimmage, you just have to look for the football. Make sure it moves before you do. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. It'll be a two-yard gain, and that'll make this a second down. And here are the offensive starters for Arizona. We're all looking forward to watching David Johnson bounce back from a rough season in 2018 because we know he has 2,000-yard potential. 1,000 on the ground, 1,000 in the air. And with the new Murray fighting, lost the football. And the Redskins scoop it. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. He had the option there, decided to keep it, exposed himself and fumbled it. Yeah, and you worry about the hits he's going to take in that situation. In this case, not only does he take the hit, he coughs the ball up, as you noted. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. But what do you think? You get the ball to turn over near the middle of the field, you take a shot here in the first play? You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position, after a turnover, I feel like I might have a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you, you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands. Meaning, if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn it into an interception. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Now Keenum, this one can play to Jordan Reed. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. Back live, Charles Davis to my right. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Redskin football to begin quarter number two. And they've got it with a first and ten. Let's keep right around the eight. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was affected. And he fights his way into the end zone for a Redskin touchdown. With the first touchdown of this Super Bowl, and the Redskins are going to add on to their lead. And there he had to break multiple tackles to earn that touchdown. Bottom line, he earned that touchdown. Indeed he did. That was pretty much a get off of me run and all the way into the end zone. Hopkins with the extra.
Well, Coach, whiteout conditions throughout the Great Plains made travel very difficult, but don't doubt these fans were still expecting a sellout at Broncos Stadium at Mile High here in Denver. Coming up, a rematch of Super Bowl 50 between the Carolina Panthers and the Denver Broncos. This one taken from the seven. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Broncos head out for their first drive at Acta Controls in his first season in the Mile High City, a former Super Bowl champion in Joe Flacco. And in Baltimore, they drafted Lamar Jackson. Eventually, he would take over for Flacco week 10 a season ago. So Flacco, out. Well, the Broncos said, we still think he has some time left in his career. They bring him in for some stability at quarterback, something that they really haven't had in Denver since the departure of Peyton Manning after their victory in Super Bowl 50. The offensive starters now for the Broncos. And how about Phillip Lindsay's rookie season? Began the year third on the depth chart, finished it in the Pro Bowl. Not bad for an unrestricted free agent out of Colorado with speed to burn. Now the young man who was a pro bowler as an undrafted rookie, it's Philip Lindsay. There he goes left side. And all the way home for a Bronco score. Philip Lindsay, 76 yards. And the Broncos have taken the early lead. Well, if they didn't get the wake-up call before the game, they got it right now. Two plays already in the end zone. I think of it in boxing terms because whether it's a big shot with your first one or a probing one, a little bit of a jab, the second one was the payoff. That was the big one that landed. One, two, end zone. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. So here are the Panthers now under head coach Ron Rivera. They're let out, of course, by Cam Newton, maybe looking for a little revenge here against the Broncos after his performance in Super Bowl 50. What a tough, tough day for him, right? Day, evening, it was just difficult. Hard to get things going for he and his teammates on offense. A struggle trying to find open receivers and complete pass. What was he, 18 for 41? Yep, no touchdowns and no a pick. No touchdowns and a pick, and then a key fumble late in the game. So it was just a total slog for him in that one. You're right, redemption, revenge, I think they're both on his mind. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. A gain of three, second down. And here now the offense for Carolina. And what a workhorse is Christian McCaffrey, the running back for the Carolina Panthers, who led his team in rushing and receiving yardage in 2018 and was also the team's leading scorer. How about this? Set an NFL record for catches for a running back. With one. And they get to Newton and take him down for the sand. No doubt that's a very good play defensively right there because you've always got to be aware that he can take off and make a big play with his legs. How about the way they were able to contain him? That also tells me the coverage is excellent down the field. They will find his man. That's Hogan complete. And they work this well up field across the 45. A big third down pickup of 20 yards. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Oh, refusing to go down. And he'll be brought down right in midfield after a gain of only a couple. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now this throw caught left side, and he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. DJ Moore, 
50 yards. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. As a former DB, you might not like to see them, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. Aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there? And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Extra point through the snowflakes, up and good. And we are tied at seven. That time, a six-play drive. And Carolina scores to cap it off. had it each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kicks away that's fielded in the end zone and no run back here this will be a touchback and it comes out to the 25 yard line here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here and for them a touchdown their last go around obviously they'll be hoping to do that again and when you start plotting for this drive when you start thinking to yourself okay what are we going to do you don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. A gain of six there on first. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end, and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. Second quarter about to begin from Denver. It's the Broncos in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and... I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL. It is a building that first hosted football way back in 1966 as EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Oakland, California. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the San Francisco 49ers and the Oakland Raiders. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they're led out by a guy who learned from one of the great ones in his first few years in Tom Brady. This is Jimmy Garoppolo. When you're back up to one of the all-time great players, if you don't spend time 
picking that guy's brain or just watching and observing how he does things to increase your game, then you've wasted that time. I don't think Jimmy Garoppolo is that type of a player. I think those lessons learned have a chance to transmit themselves very well. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. And these are the guys we're about to see down on the turf in just a moment. Joe Staley, the left tackle, one of the most respected players in the league, as well as one of the most talented. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Play fake there to Coleman. Now Garoppolo. Blitz coming and down he goes. Credit the sack to Brandon Marshall. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. in a tough spot. They face a third and long. Play action. Garoppolo. Looking deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. On now is the 27-year-old rookie, Mitch Wisnowski, to punt. Back deep for the Raiders, Dwayne Harris. The Raiders swarm in and block it. Now it's scooped up, and this is a lot of football. And all the way in. Touchdown, Oakland. In for the score. And the Raiders have taken the early lead. Partner, as you well know, every block punt wasn't necessarily a called block. Sometimes the guy just finds his way back there. Doesn't matter. The play happens, and that one turned into six points because they handled it so well after the block. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. Well, these may be an adventure this afternoon, but this one is good. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The San Francisco offense getting their last minute instructions before they take over here. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their 25 yard line. Garoppolo looks to throw. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. He was looking for Trent Taylor there. And it's second down. Quickly now, the starting 11 for the Oakland defense. Vontez Burfick is a super talent and a fierce competitor. He can do it all at the linebacker position. leads to second and 10 from the 25. This is Jarek McKinnon who missed the entire 2018 campaign. And he's upended at the 33 following a good pickup of eight. A 
nice job to get eight there after the incompletion, and now they'll look at a third and two coming up. First carry for the former Falcon, Tevin Coleman. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. A nice first down pickup on a gain of six. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Right back to Coleman here on first down. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while, because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Now they'll throw with Garoppolo. Screen play, McKinnon. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Time to give them credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool him, right? Tried to trick him, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. The last completion actually lost a yard, so now they'll need to convert on third down. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Open man is Taylor. He's got it. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. And the Niners move the chains as Garoppolo hooks up with Taylor. A little football 101 there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. Here we go, here we go, here we go. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 45-yard line. On first down now, run with McKinnon. And able to push forward for right around three yards down to the 42. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. One seven nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter, and it's our visitors with the football.